Hi, welcome to Nepal Digital Education. Today in this video series, we are going to start the numericals of pressure of class 10. But before solving this numerical problem, let us look at the topic. Our topic is pressure. So, first of all, we have to understand about this topic. So, we all know that pressure is defined as a force per unit area. And mathematically, it is given by P equal to F by A. But this is not our topic today because in this series, we are going to start the numericals and we have taken some give reason also, which is very, very important for your CE exam. So let us look at our problem first. Which one is, which one is SAL solution out of a and B. So, so before solving this problem, first of all, understand, understand uh, this topic. Conditions, conditions that determine the sinking or floating of a body. Means we have the first condition when the weight of body is more than the of thrust, the body sink. So this is our first case. This is our first case. First case means when the weight of the body is more than the of thrust, the body sink in the fluid. So this is our first case. Body is sinking because the density it happen when the density of the body is greater than the liquid. So in first the body that is no egg. So the density of egg is more than the density of this liquid. So it is sinking. And our second case is when the weight of body is equal to the of thrust, the body float below the surface of the fluid. It happens when the density of body is equal to the density of liquid. So this is our second case. Second case means when this object and this liquid density are equal then then the body float below the surface of fluid so this is our second case so let us look at the third case when the weight of the body is less than the of thrust the body float partially above the surface of the fluid it happen when the density of the body is less than the liquid so this is our third case in this case body body is floating but body float partially above the surface of the fluid this is due to density of body less than the liquid so this is the condition of sinking or floating so from this we conclude that a body sink when the density of body is greater than the density of liquid and this uh, body float when when the uh, density of the body is less than the density of the liquid but in floating there are two conditions means when the density of liquid and object are equal then it float below the surface of the liquid when the density of the body less than the liquid so it float partially above the surface of the fluid so this is the condition of sinking or floating but our pro problem is which one is the salt solution out of a and b so obviously this is no this uh, A is salt solution, this is uh, our A and B. So this A is salt solution, this is salt solution, salt solution. Because the density of her egg is less than the density of the solution, so it is floating. Because we uh, know that the density of salt solution is more than the density of this ordinary water so this water has more density so egg is what 
here floating density density of egg is less than the density of water so in this case egg is floating so this uh, a is salt solution let us look at the next problem problem number two in the given figure weight of a stone inside water is 9 newton so the weight of this stone inside this water is 9 newton and water displaced by a stone is 2 newton and this displaced water is 2 newton then what is the actual weight of a stone and which principle is this experiment based on so this experiment based on Archimedes principle and uh, this principle state that when a body is wholly or partially immersed in a liquid, it experiences an upthrust which is equal to the weight of liquid displaced by it. So it means that when a body is wholly or partially, partially immersed in a liquid, then it experiences what? Upthrust. Upthrust means upwarded force. So and this upthrust is equal to weight of liquid displace but in first we have to find the actual weight of a stone so let us look at this diagram what is the actual weight of this stone so we all know that upthrust is equal to the weight of liquid displace so upthrust equal to weight of liquid is displaced and upthrust equal to W1 minus W2. This is formula which is given by Archimedes. And this W1 is weight of a stone in air. This weight of a stone in air. And here this is W1, W1. And this is what? W2. And this is upthrust, weight of liquid displaced. So this W this upthrust u equal to w1 minus w2 so in first we have to find the what is the actual weight of a stone so we have to find the weight of the this stone so this stone means we have to find the w1 so w1 is given by upthrust equal to weight in water so from this from from this first equation we can write this w1 this w1 equal to upthrust plus w2 so upthrust is 2 newton and weight in water is 9 newton so it become 2 plus 9 11 newton so this is the required weight of the stone Let us look at the next problem, problem number 3. Study the given figure and answer the following question. So in first, what is the upthrust, upthrust acting on the stone immersed in water? So we have to find the upthrust and we know that upthrust equal to weight of liquid displaced. So here liquid displaced is 5 Newton. So our required value is 5 Newton next on which principle is the given experiment based so it is based on Archimedes principle and this principle state that when the body is partially wholly merged in a liquid it experiences an upthrust which is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by it but right only this uh, it is based on Archimedes principle it is not necessary to a state but uh, no, uh, it is state that means when uh, object is wholly or partially merged in a liquid then it experience what upward force that is of thrust which is equal to the uh, equal to the displaced liquid so uh, that is of thrust equal to weight of liquid displaced and uh, what is the weight of the stone in air so what is the weight of this stone in air so suppose this is no a stone what is the weight of a stone in air 
so we we know that no of thrust equal to weight of liquid displaced and it is also given by w1 minus w2 this w1 is weight of a stone in air and this w2 is weight in water so we have the of thrust value 5 no of thrust value 5 and we have this weight in water is 20 so we have this value 20 so uh, we can easily get the value of w1 so we can write this w1 equal to this of thrust plus plus of thrust plus this weight in water so of thrust is what 5 newton and this is 20 newton so it become 25 newton so this is the required weight of the stone so thank you for watching this video